Hi, this is Margaret from dataminingdna.com. And this is a quick video about how to upload a JetCon file to Ancestry to create a family tree. So I have a JetCon file sitting in this folder here. It's got the extension .ged. It is a text file. It's a small file that I exported from another genealogy website, which is MyHeritage. You can see it's quite short. It's only got a couple of people in it. So once you know where your file is, come to Ancestry. I'm sitting on the home page here. I go to Trees. And go down to the bottom of the, of the drop down menu and click on Create and Manage Trees. And from here, we have to scroll. I happen to have a lot of trees, right? So you may not have as many trees as I have. But just scroll right down to the bottom of the page. And here we have this upload a JetCom file link here. So I'm just going to click on the upload link. Find, find my JetCon file. Ancestry, it actually goes and sticks the name of the file as the name of your family tree. You may or may not want this. I will call it test tree from my heritage. Because this is a test, I don't want to make my family tree public. So I'll just uncheck that. Optional details and then Terms and conditions. So just make sure you're satisfied with the terms and conditions and Ancestry's privacy statement. And I will click upload. This should be fast. We've got a progress bar here. It's kind of hanging around at 0%, but there's only, I think, two or three people in that tree. This should be pretty quick. There we go. Once it got going, it kind of whizzed through. So handily enough, because I can't see it amongst my very, very many trees. If you only have one or two trees, you'll see it. This is giving you a link just to jump straight into the tree. I'll just open link a new tab. And here we are sitting on this rather small tree. And just so as I can prove that I can find it, I'll call it test tree. So it's not on the first page. Go to the second page. Oh, okay, here it is. I'll just click on test tree from my heritage. And yes, once again, I'm put into the tree. I just display it, and here we go, my very small tree. What that helps, there's a companion article on the website. I'll put a link in the description below. And best of luck with your research.